Yo, what's up guys, AFC Adino here and welcome to a new video. Today, I'm going to do the last part of this uh, Volcarona Espion team. Um, this is the last footage I have, which I didn't commentate over, so I'm going to do it now. And yeah, if you guys are interested in this team, you know where you can find it. It's on Patreon. It's a poker based plus team building video on that team. And yeah, if you want to help me for free, consider subscribing to my channel as I'm on my way to 5,000 subscribers. Yeah, for this, uh, for this game, we're going to be playing against the Sun team. A really strange Sun team, I'd have to say. There's a Victory Bell, there's no Venusaur. There's a Flygon on the team, he's an Infernape. There's a Sigilar Tomb. Um, I'm mostly afraid of the Victory Bell. I know I can Ice Shard him. But Victory Bell, I don't really have a switch for him because Gastrodon is my special wall on the team, which will get obliterated by the Giga Drain. Uh, but yeah, lead wise, I am still going to lead off with the Gastro. It is unlikely that Victory Bell is going to be the lead in this case. So, leading off Gastro and trying to get up rocks, pressuring the Torkoal. Because uh, when Torkoal falls, his team will fall apart, of course. He loses he leads off with the Flygon, which. I'm not sure what he's going to do. Um, I'm just gonna fire off a nice beam right now. As he clicks toxic, that's really annoying, brother. However, he cannot live the next one. He actually lived this ice beam, which was pretty interesting because that might be spit death, my god. Anyway, I'm gonna click toxic unless he goes victory bell here, um, which should be good for me. And I wanted to go for rocks, but uh, in case. Oregon indeed comes in. I wanted to get off the poison on him. And the only two things that can absorb a toxic are Victory Bell and Sigil if he, if he is a magic guard. But now, because he has Porygon in, I can go for Stalled Rock. This means I get up rocks before Turco comes in. Obviously, the Sigil can still debug and he clicks Curse. That is so interesting. Um. What? Okay. I'm gonna use SPN there. He, he, he rose his uh, defense, so I'm gonna hit him on the special side. He is poisoned, so he's gonna go down eventually. And I'm just gonna click a, click a psychic here just to get the damage off. Get a special defense drop and what? That's, that was my reaction when <laughs> I tried to repeat that reaction. But now I'm gonna go into Bull Corona and yeah, I'm just gonna get up my fairy dance. He's not gonna live this. If we get a boost there, it's gonna be extremely good for us. We got the boost. And uh, yeah, a few things he can do, he can maybe go into his um, He can maybe go into his Flygon, but he decided to go into this, meaning I can go for the Quiver Dance as he tries to go for Slice Shock. And yeah, at this point uh, I'm going to be too much of a menace for him to deal with, so I'll be able to throw off my Fairy Dance. I don't knock him out, but if I get another boost, then he will eventually get swept. Because to stop me, he needs to get in his Torkoal first. And we get another boost there. Goes for Psy Shock. And since I am out healing his damage, he does less damage than half. I'm out healing with Roost, combined with the Leftovers. I'm gonna go for one more. Obviously, I'm playing around a crit here. But I wanna make sure I live Choice Band at Mach Punch. Because he cannot go into Victory Bell and I outspeed him with Volcarona so, and on everything and he decides to forfeit. So we beat, we beat the Sun team, really interesting team he has. And let's just forget about this game and go to the next one. Okay guys, so we have this game. He has a Mammoth Swine which is definitely going to be a scary one. There's a Chandelure as well. In combination with the Renatar. If Chandelure is a flame body, it's okay, but if it's Flesh Fire, then Volcarona doesn't really get to play the game because I'm using Will O Wisp. He's a Dartoon, which is definitely dangerous, and a Mammoth Swine. So, overall, 
not really looking too good, but we have to look at the positive things. Like my corona test. No, I'm kidding, guys. Um, I have... I have... I have Weavile, right? So Weavile, um, if his if his Redom dies, Weavile gets strong high school spears off unless Chandelure has Bane Split or something. Um, Psychic doesn't do that much. Guard Chomp in this game is going to be phenomenal, I think. Um, just because of the earthquake pressure, and we can obviously uh, Dragon Rush the Redom. So we're gonna look for those kind of plays getting in our Guard Chomp, but for our lead, we're gonna go into our. Gastrodon, because against the Redom we can click Toxic. And what I really want to accomplish in this game is getting up rocks while my opponent will be able to play with rocks. So these rocks are going to matter in the sense that it's going to weaken Tyranitar, Chandler, and Mammoth Swine. If I can get if I can play around that core, it's gonna be really helpful. Yeah, my opponent is taking quite a while to choose his lead, and he's leading off with his Rodom Wash, which I expected. Well, not necessarily expected, but which we could have expected. And now I'm click clicking Toxic, never clicking Rocks, because if he clicks Rocks, if I click Rocks and he clicks, um, if I click Rocks and he clicks Trick, it's and so. I, I I click Rocks here just because. Um, I have a, I have a window berry, but this still did surprisingly a lot, which is really annoying. Now I decided to bring in my Volcarona, knowing that I have Hespian in the back, but he just clicked rocks on me anyway, and this position is already, this is a horrible start. So from here, I'm going to Quiver Dance here as he brings in the shell. If I can burn him, that's gonna be helpful. Um, because with the burn, I have a much easier time switching into this guy, especially with Gastrodon now this long. He clicks Rock Slide, which already reveals to me that this might be um, a Soul Fest. And now I'm gonna Fairy Dance here just for the damage. And that's definitely a Soul Fest because I'm plus one. I don't get the boost, I would have been able to knock him out there. And yeah, from here, I can Fury Dance again if I really want to, but I want to have HP on this. I'm gonna, so I decided to Roost there. I was considering Willow Wisp on him switching out, but he, if I don't crit him, he's gonna live an extra attack, so he might just stay on me. But I really had to figure out how I was going to play out this game. But Mian Shao now being... Um, Mian Shao now being a burnt is really helpful. And I'll relieve some pressure now. Um, Esprit can wall really well. But yeah, with Gastrodon Gash being this low, I wasn't sure how I was going to deal with the star. So I decided to just go for the burn. Um, he has to be choice banner to knock me out. And he does stone edge me, and I do lose my Volcarona, which is unfortunate, but those burns on Tyranitar and, and Miesha are going to stay. I know that I'm extremely weak to Mamoswine now, but he had the rocks up anyway. So now I'm going to bring in my Garchomp, and assuming he's choiced, clicking the Home Claw. Because he was burned. I'm pretty sure... Adamant, Ma Max Attack is gonna kill me anyway, even with the burn. But I'm just gonna play off him being choice, and I guess I, I need to play aggressively with my Garchomp. Garchomp was going to be extremely strong against this team. And I get off the Home Claw. And remember, guys, if I get rid of this Rodom, it's gonna open up my Weavile. So I'm gonna Dragon Rush this Hope that I obviously flinch the guy. We don't flinch him, he does burn us. But we still put his Rodom really low, and he can basically not come in on anything. Espion obviously knocks him out now. Um, he cannot switch into many bus when I click foul play. And I'm clicking Earthquake here, anticipating the Ferrothorn, because that would have been a free kill. And we do hit the Ferrothorn, 
and damaging this Ferrothorn is also going to be really important in the end game of me clicking Icicle Spear with uh, my with my Weavile. So I'm gonna keep clicking it. He missed Leech, which is huge for me because I'm stack I'm still stacking up my Metronome, which he's not aware of now. And burning the Tyranitar really really helped me setting up this moment but we still got to be wary of the mammoth swine however we have espion alive now that he landed the leech on me i'm not gonna earthquake again because there's just me clicking earthquake here is just giving him too much outplay potential he can go into his run on get leech recovery he can click protect I decided to bring in Espion, um, his Pharaoh is low, he already got his rocks up. And he just clicked Power Up and luckily for me he misses that one, it would have done like 40 something. But now I'll be able to do a bunch of things, but I think I just wish here, um, the wish helped me later in getting HP back on, Weave all over. Many of us, if I can baton pass into it on, on the next turn. But switching into Tyranitar is much easier now. Uh, because many of us should be able to handle Tyranitar now. And many of us from full HP can live and attack from Choice Bandit Memo as well and hit him with Foul Play. Which is going to help me in the end game of Weavile. However, there's obviously still a Chandelure sitting there in the back, and my opponent clicks Explosion! But this Witch Play works out really well for me because now I get the free protect and Ferrothorn died and I got a lot of value from my guard trip even though it's burned because it weakened the Ferrothorn forcing him to click explosion and Rotom is extremely low now so right now the game is not looking too grim even though I don't have Volcarona for the Mamoswine we're opening things up here and his Mamoswine is obviously still, still alive but I have Gastrodon as a sacrifice which I can still bring in on something. Guard jump is still alive too. And I can basically protect on this turn. To make full use out of this. Because uh, Tyranitar coming in doesn't matter. Now Memoswine comes in. Obviously Metronome Earthquake can definitely be annoying. Uh, but I'll be clicking to protect anyway. And if he's Choice Bandit then um, it's going to be helpful as well. He does go for the Earthquake, and I might just go for the Psychic right here, because Joyce Bandit Earthquake is not going to kill me, and with the Metronome he's not going to kill me either, and I need this chip for the Weavile. Rotom is now low, this is the only thing I gotta get low, and he does end up swapping into the Rotom, and Rotom is going to die to my Psychic. Would have been a cool play, um, in the sense that he could have clicked Defog or anything on my Gastrodon, but now I keep Gastrodon as a sec. I was still fine with him clicking Earthquake on my SP, and like I said, I wanted to chip him. Now Mianchao comes in. And honestly, I can wish here, but I can also just Psychic him in case he tries to knock me off. But he does Uten because he's burned, so this Uten is not going to do too much. But having me and Shao low might also help me in the Icicle Spear endgame. Because maybe I need 4 hits on this me and Shao from Phil. And if he's not at Phil, I can maybe knock him out with 2 or 3 hits. With that, psychic, with that extra psychic damage. And if Chandelure comes in here, uh, we can see if he gains leftovers. If he doesn't, we get, we get a free protect. And then he's most likely choiced. Chandelure does end up coming in and... I have a Gastrod on second, I still have a guard jump in the back. Remember, he, he, his Rotom is dead, so he doesn't have an Earthquake immunity anymore. So we always protect there. Really not. So we're really putting ourselves into a good position. He clicks Overheat. Definitely don't want to take it with Espion. I want to keep this HP so I can get at least one Psychic off on the Mammoth Swine. 
but I'm actually going into the guard jump here instead. I think I should I don't know why I made this play to be honest. I think I should have sacked Gastro. What was my thought process? So I should be second Gastro. Maybe I wanted to keep Gastro done as a second to Mamoswine later. I guess I wanted to figure out if he was Scarfed. But I should always just set Gastro so I can get a free Earthquake. Look at his team. Like, man, she'll get Stuart KO'd even with the burn. The Renatar is going to get Oko'd, and if I get the Earthquake damage off on Mamoswine, that's going to be helpful too. I'm not sure. Still clicks Overheat. And it doesn't kill me, which is awesome. You know, I get get this damage on the on the Chandler. But I don't know why I didn't go Gastro. Because I basically put him into a position where Mamoswine needs to click um, Ice Shard on me. But now we get an Espion again. That was such a that was such a strange play by me. I got I gotta be honest. I, we always say Gastro because with Espion being at full. We wish here. Guys, I want Espion to be full HP against the Mamoswine. Around full, full HP. Let's see if he clicks U-turn or knockoff. He does go for the U-turn. And I have my Mandibus still full HP in case I need yeah, there's an earthquake immunity and in, in, in case the Mammoth Swine is choice. But with Esprin being at full HP, we basically get to find this get to find this out. Mammoth Swine will come in on the rocks. It brings in the tar. Which means I can utilize my Mammoth uh, my Mandy Buzz. Obviously I'm gonna click protect first. Let the burn damage do the work there. And getting all this damage on the tower, he clicks crunch. Should be fine. Yep, I get my HP back out. We always go for the baton pass here. Well, maybe I just hard swap into many buzz. Because I don't know if he scarfed or bandit. Adamant Max Attack does knock out my Volcaron even if Tyranitar is burned just due to the stab. I decided to sack my Gastro. And get a free up into Weevil probably. Go from that positioning. Well, okay, I go into Many Buzz. Oh, so I can get off a, so that I can get off a free foul play from here. Because something has to come in on a foul play, whether it's Tar, or it's Espion. But if Tar is gone, I get to spam Psychic against my opponent. If he loses Mian Shao, um, that, that actually doesn't matter too much. But Mian Shao, Mian Shao dying. Means he cannot knock off my Espion, which makes it more difficult for him to kill me. That's going to Mian Shao. Mian Shao is burnt anyway, he's never he never really kills me. I can just foul play again if he U-turns. He should be clicking close combat here. Or high jump kick so I can get him Mammoth Swine. But if he if he uses here, something has to take a foul play. But I, I guess I wasn't I wasn't certain if I would knock out the tar if it was worth it getting two hits on tar there. 
But from here, you'll be able to click Ballplane if Tar is gone, then clicking Psychic with Espion is going to be super helpful. So he has to decide what he's going to bring in on, on the foul play. Maybe he thinks I'm going for a roost. But from this position, I don't want him switching. And he goes into the Mammoth Swine, which I don't agree with, because now... I get this foul play damage up, and he's dying to rocks. So from this point, I can actually let go of my... Espion, probably. And go Weavile, and then Manibus takes care of me and Shao. Because I was probably talking if uh, Choice Benatar with Crunch would be able to damage me on Espion. It's either second Espion or Manibus, because I, I just need to get in my Weavile. But him going. This was the worst play he can make. Like he was really anticipating me to roost, but I don't need to roost. No, Icicle Spear into Psychic should knock out the Memes Fine, even though it's kind of resisted. So I decide to sack Mandy Buzz here, and he clicks Icicle Spear. And he does get the three hits. So I decided to end game this with Espion, which is fine too, because, like I said, I get in this guy. Because of all the damage I got on Mian Xiao, um, Mian Xiao is not gonna survive Ice School Spear. Mammoth Swine dies to rocks. So first of all, I get a free kill, and then he has to go into it. He has to go into Mian Xiao, then switch into Tyranitar. But he he goes for this play instead, but it has to be in Max Attack Tar, because otherwise he wouldn't have killed my full Corona. Which is the information I got, so two hits should still be sufficient enough, which it was. Tyranitar goes down, and now all he has left is, S is to me and Shao, and I do have Espion in the back. But yeah, I don't think I think I should have said said Gastrodon instead of going hard guard jump. It was such a misplay on my end, because I could have gotten up that free earthquake. He had no, like he had no immunity to my earthquake. I don't know what I was thinking there, but from here, switch into the in, into the one HP Gastrodon because I wanted to keep Gastrodon as a sec, but I can keep Garchomp as a sec as well. Basically, I don't lose anything from clicking Earthquake, but especially because we saw him use Overheat, then Garchomp would have had more HP. I think that was definitely the better. The better route but uh yeah guys uh that's the last footage of what i had recorded on my laptop when i didn't have a microphone hope you guys enjoyed if you have any questions leave them down in the comments below and yeah make sure to subscribe and like as well dislike if you didn't like it and check out the team on patreon there's a link to page to patreon that you you'll find a book of base plus team building video all the details of this team are there guys and thank you everyone for watching and hope to see you next time peace out